I'm making a, the hell am I making? I'm making a potato and, wait, and leek flatbread. Mm. Because if I called it a pizza, it sounds like too much food. <laughs> I think flatbread sounds like, uh, sounds like lunch to me. They've been on, you know what? I've seen them as like appetizers on menus too. What? Flatbread? Like, flat like a, a yeah. shared flatbread, yeah. Flatbreads are just really popular these days. Oh, I don't yeah. really know why, but whatever. But so you have to deal with the leek. We're going to get a leek going to soften it up a little bit first. So little heat under the pan. Okay, and so for those of us like me that don't know much about leeks, why don't you give us a little walk Well, just think like giant uh, mild green onion really is kind of what it is. Definitely the onion family, but you have to clean them a little bit. So what you want to deal with are the, or what we call the light green and white parts. You cut that little root end off, you don't need that. But they can be a little bit dirty. You see this? That's dirt. If you look in here in the folds, yeah. oh yeah, look at that's gross, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't want that. So you have to give it a bit of a rinse. And the way that I like to do it is I'll just cut these guys lengthways like that, and then take it. See right here? Oh yeah, that's Holy gross, crap. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's. I mean, there's just all these folds. So you got to get. You can soak them in water, or an easy way. Oh, because that stem grows in the, out of the ground. Right. right, this thing, this little hairy bit. Got it. It's sticking down, so it sucks up all of whatever. So I think an easy way to do this is take it and do this. Rinse it in its folds. You'll get the dirt out, you'll get any sand, you'll get any little bits of stuff that you don't really want. Like, you're, like cards, right? You can sort of almost shuffle these things this way. <laughs> and clean them up. But you don't want them wet, so the key is shake off as much water as you can and then put it there. And then just back to this guy. Quickly. Uh, when I was at the store buying this stuff this morning, yeah, right above these real hole leaks were uh, already washed, rinsed, soaked, whatever they do, dried, leeks, uh, sliced into little like ribbons in a bag that I could have bought, but. Is that not a little bit lazy? I know. No, 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 I don't, would I, you know what? Um, <laughs> Actually, no, I take that back. Here's the thing, I'm kind of torn. I want people to yeah. see how to do this. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I mean, it is a little bit of a pain, but. Chopping kale, as opposed to buying it, you know, broken up in a bag. Right. No, right. Then that's so you, much difficult. So you're, much more you're, difficult. Buying, you're buying it done. Yes. Agreed, okay. yeah. Agreed. I've but done there both, are but. some things like when you see like pre cut apple slices and it's like, come on. People. That to me is a bit of a stretch. Like, you don't need to be can doing you that. Chop an apple? Exactly. Okay, so here's what I, I like to do just take off a couple of these thicker outside guys. Like this. I can use that for something. And then I, this way for me, and then this way. Okay, lengthwise. I'm trying to turn them into basically like little mat sticks. Yeah, I don't want to neglect the people who are just listening to the audio version. What's up, audio people? Yeah, and this cutting I'm them into mat sticks. How many people there are that do that? So oh, this yeah. is this is really just cutting these things into like two inch uh, mat sticks, and then I'm going to put them in this pan that now is now probably starting to get too hot. Like you I can love hear it a little noise. bit, right? Mm -hmm. Let me turn it down a bit. So I'm going to soften these in this pan with just a little olive oil, and I'll season them a little bit. Like, I think it's important that you season all the components of things that you're cooking, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, this is going to be one component. This will get seasoned, and then the potatoes, and then blah, 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 whatever. So I think we're good. I think we probably have enough. So now we have to deal with the crust. And so what I have is I have a half a bowl left of a pizza crust that I bought the other day. And you can buy this fresh dough at the supermarket now. It used to just be uh, like Trader Joe's and uh, uh, Whole Foods would sell pizza dough. So now even like the big commercial supermarkets have it. And here's what I like to do. I'm trying to make a flatbread so I want it thin. So I olive oil a baking sheet first, 
Grab this ball of dough that's been sitting out of the fridge about a good 45 minutes now. Which is so necessary. Which is key because if you try and do this right when it comes out of the fridge, you'll just die. It's not gonna you'll happen. You'll be so bummed. Jilly one time tried to do that and she got so frustrated that she almost just ruined the entire dinner. Like watch, watch, get close right here. Mm. Watch this, so you see when I do this, stretch it out, it pulls back, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see it coming back. If you tried to do it when it was cold, it would go boom and like snap back. So now the, the glutens have relaxed a bit, now allowing me to spread this out. It helps if you have some olive oil on the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. And now you just want to spread this into whatever shape you want. And we're going to go with sort of traditional flatbread, which is basically like an oval, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got the flat, you've got this pizza dough spread out nicely. Long and thin rather than round. Right, nice oval, okay? Now we're gonna take a little bit of a, oh crap, what the hell is it? Potatoes? Here it is, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, I need a little olive oil. In with my leeks, hold on. Get these guys good. <laughs> Not too much heat here. Can actually turn this down a little bit. I feel like those, those can potentially cook very fast. Yeah, because they're thin, right? So we yeah. salt those guys a bit. They just need to soften, so they're starting to soften. Uh, I took this thing out. So this is this Alouette garlic herb cheese, and this is, I think, like a brie version. Oh, I love that stuff. It's a brie version, okay. right? But so now what I want to do is I want to soften it a little bit more than it already is in here, and just put like a little coat on the pizza or on the flatbread, right? Just mm -hmm. a little, a little under cheese flavor, whatever under cheese under means. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> whatever that means, but right, just like this. You can see from, it started to snap back a bit from where I even had it when it was spread oh, out yeah. a little bit more. There's just nothing you can do. It's, I mean, it's gonna happen. I'll just try and push it out a little bit further with my spoon here, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, but we're nice, right? So now the leeks are done. We're gonna have the com potato component, which is very simple. I have these, these basically cool, look at those guys, cool those purple awesome. fingerling they're potatoes. Cool. And fingerling because they're about the size of a finger. If I had short, fat, chubby fingers that look like this. <laughs> and now my little mandolin, which is just a little single slicer here. Not even adjustable. Whoa. And I'm just gonna bust out some of these guys. That would be perfect for like scalped potatoes, would it not? But that's a, yeah, 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 absolutely. And that's a ceramic blade and I get really scared near the bottom of whatever it is that I'm trying to slice <laughs> that I'm gonna take my finger off. Yeah, they're really strong. They're really, 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 really sharp. So just the little potato slices get spread out here. We're almost there. We're almost ready to put this stupid thing in the oven. Not too much. I mean, you don't want to like weight this thing down with a thousand pounds of potato slices. Uh, and don't forget, I, we've made the mashed potato pizza here on the live cast. We've grilled it outside, oh. I think. You could totally uh, swap out these slices for mashed potato and just like rub it across, you spread it across the bottom. But I have to say, I think these are really pretty and I like the way that they, like I the really way like that the these color. look, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So now two more things, a little seasoning for the potatoes, I forgot. We'll put a little, a little pepper on the whole thing at the end. And now we just take these leeks and this, ow, hot pan. <laughs> but I just feel like, I feel like you got these fingers that God gave you, like they're great, like kitchen utensils. <laughs> they won't be for much longer once <laughs> you burn them off. Them. <laughs> if, I keep, if I burn off the tips? Yeah. You'll have no feeling. Right. All right, we're almost there. Okay, a little bit more. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, but look how pretty. Look how beautiful this, these leeks look on here, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, leek, leek, leek. Potatoes, good, gorgeous, perfect. Mm -hmm. That's there. I have a towel someplace. 
I can't find it, so I'll take this one. And just a tiny little bit of Parmesan over the top at the end. My oven is on to 325. And when I say tiny little bit of Parmesan, I mean this, right? Just a very light sprinkle. Just a very light sprinkle. There's already that cheese base on there, and I didn't give it any pepper, really. So just a little fresh ground pepper on top. This guy will go into the oven. We'll give it about 10 minutes. And now we can sit down and relax. All right. We good? We are all good. We're good. All right, good. Hey, before we get into uh, some cool things for today, why don't you go share our big news? I'm pregnant. Oh, oh. what a joke. This is episode 250. How cute. Episode 250. Nice. It's We've kind of unbelievable. 250 of these things. That's a lot of cooking. I remember, yeah. I I remember 50. I remember 100, 150, 200. Jeez. 250. Um, awesome. That is at least 250 recipes because some we've done two. Oh, yeah. We've doubled up on some. Absolutely. Do you know how many recipes are like combined total in all your books? No. Well, I think each book cookbook has 125 recipes. Oh, okay. That, I might, that much I know. Mm -hmm. So then I do know. It's 375. <laughs> yeah. On my website, when I go to put a new recipe on the website, it assigns it a number. And it's over 600. I'm well over 600 now. Because not everything is in the cookbooks. Yeah. And sadly, not everything that we've done on the live cast is on the live cast website or on my website, Cooking Guy website. But, but a lot of things are. Episode 250, that's cool. We've done a lot of shit here, man. Thank you We've for the done support. done a lot of stuff. Yes, and thanks thank you. to anybody who's been here from the beginning, and thanks to anybody who's joined since then. Yep. By the way, uh, lunch week started with that, that antipasto sandwich from the other day. Or is it antipasto? Antipasto, I, antipasto. I'd say antipasto. Maybe it's my Canadian. That's Cana what I say. Maybe, perhaps yeah, it's I my Canadian. Antipasto. And you say auntie? No, I just anti I was saying what you said. I think it's probably antipasto. Uh huh. Uh, was incredible. It was incredible. Get a good crispy roll. And a good crispy roll doesn't have to be an expensive roll. You can go spend a lot of money on it. But the one that I used for the sandwich that we made, and look how beautiful it is, came from the supermarket over by their, like, their bagels and their donuts. Mm -hmm. Second I grabbed it, I went crispy. That's what I want. That was super delicious. Hey, so... Hey, you want to know what we did? Sorry, try, try to guess what we did in episode 50. 200 live casts ago. Oh, <sighs> I don't think I have any and idea. It's, you can't name one Wait, recipe. <laughs> was there something with champagne? We definitely, there was something with champagne, but I'm talking about the food. I have, how am I going to know? I, I <laughs> thought you could maybe just say one of 250 recipes and uh, it could work. Roasted red it pepper was, and there you go. dip. What it's was it? Ed, it was egg week and we made this chicken egg salad. Oh my God. Which, Which is, looks rather plain, but I'm telling you, good. the addition of a deli roasted chicken shredded yes. up in with the egg salad and the green onion and the celery and the whatever else. Whatever. Hey, here's what I made uh, me and mom last night. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's salmon? Salmon. So and couscous. Yeah, Israeli couscous. Yeah. So not only was that salmon picked, picked uh, sorry, cooked perfectly, and I don't know if you can tell, but right here, you can still see inside there's pink in there. I see it, mm -hmm. yeah. So it was just seared. The, all, all I did was I put hot chili oil on the salmon and then salt and pepper. Wow. And I seared it in a super hot nonstick pan uh, until it got crispy on the top, flipped it over, did a little bit less time on the bottom. But I made this Israeli couscous. And I don't know if I've done Israeli couscous on the live cast. Um, we did Asian couscous with grilled tuna. Okay, so that was, a couple that, weeks that ago. was the, the smaller, finer couscous. Yeah, exactly. This Israeli couscous, or these like largish, you know, well, here's the difference. Hold on. Yeah. You can see that they're larger balls. Larger balls. Here's the difference between the two. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, wait, watch me. Hold on. Watch what I can do. Nice. You're the man. 
<laughs> How's that? Oh yeah, so you can tell they're much bigger. Look it, right? I mean, completely so, different. Same in taste, though. Different. Uh, no, because this this guy, this the, sorry, the this one, the yeah. the regular couscous mm -hmm. is just it's fluffier. Mm -hmm. So it's just texturally it's different, but also it, it it's a different taste. This is sort of more pasta like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But a they're they're both super easy to cook. Um, and very healthy, right? Yeah, relatively healthy. I mean, it's, there's, I don't think there's anything is bad it, in this. Is it more healthy than eating rice, which can have a lot of carbs? And I don't know, I don't actually. I know that it is Okay, I thought, I thought that maybe it was like a healthy alternative to just like a I think it's just more rice. like eating pasta. I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe okay. Alec could take a look. I can. See, uh, you know, couscous versus rice, fat, whatever. But the thing about this, the, they both take... Um, sauces and things well mm -hmm. all i did was if you go back to the picture of the salmon after i cooked it, it, it there's lots of chopped up green onion here because you know i'm a fan of that but also um a little rice vinegar and a little mm, a little olive oil rice vinegar olive oil seasoned well salt pepper and then that was it oh i know and a tiny a tiny little drop of uh, sesame oil Wow. In that. Because I wanted to continue the Asian thing. I had the hot chili oil on this thing and then that, and it was so good. It mm. is so good. We'll do couscous one night. The, the Israeli is fantastic. And it's a great thing that goes under almost anything. It's like you boil some broth or some water. You throw this Israeli couscous in. Ten minutes later, you drain it, and you're set. Wow. It's perfect. It looks like it's about the same rice and um, couscous. And couscous. They I basically see. just say... It's obviously healthier if you have whole grain. Right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. Both right. carbs. Right, there you go. But I'm telling you, that salmon was killer. It was so delicious. Salmon, the hot chili oil, two ingredients. Can't really count salt and pepper. And then the couscous is like three, four <laughs> ingredients. I mean, the whole thing. That was a super healthy, really delicious dinner. I'm glad we made it. That's all I I'm have I'm jealous. To say. I wish I had it. Um, I also, uh, here's what I'm jealous of. This is uh, in Japan. I think this is Japan. McDonald's, wait for it. Oh, man. McDonald's deep fried seafood salad burger. <laughs> Sorry, deep fried macaroni seafood salad burger. Wait, well, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> There's too many, too many components? That's a lot. I don't deep even... fried. Hold on, go off there for a second. Just let me find my notes for this. Deep fried macaroni seafood salad burger. You can have it back again. Wow. And I got to be honest with you. I want that fucking thing. So it's full. It's like loaded with seafood salad, essentially. I guess it's macaroni salad <laughs> that has bits of seafood in it. And you can maybe see something right here. Yeah. Jeez. I want to know what that brown one How come I can't hear Ellie? Oh, sorry. Oh. She wants uh, to know what the brown stuff is, is on top. The brown looks like, I thought it was a sauce, but now it maybe looks like an onion sauce or something. Yeah. Leave I can't really off. tell on cheese. <laughs> but macaroni, see, macaroni and seafood salad turned into a patty, breaded in panko crumbs, and then deep fried on a bun? What could be more terrible for your health than this? Yeah. But I want that in the worst way. <laughs> Am I wrong? It doesn't no. sound terrible. I'll give you that. But it doesn't sound terrible. No. I want to go there. They have we have the they have the most interesting McDonald's fast food around the world. I mean, I got that sweet potato pie in Hong Kong. Oh, that's right. Mm. <laughs> They've got the coolest stuff. I mean, especially in like Japan and Asia, they really go. But then in India, they have like Mick Curry and They have all that cool yeah. stuff. Nice. Mick hey, chicken um, masala. Can we play that uh that that little girl Natalie that's saying something nice about me? Yes. Um Do you have Yes, that? well, I, I think Sorry, this is what I was trying to just do. Um, if you don't, that's cool. Something, yeah, Ali's presenter went away. Oh, it did, okay. Um, but actually, no, 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 I can uh, pull it up on my computer really quickly. Somebody asked me in uh, an email the other day, because I use a lav, and this is a lav, mm -hmm. short for lavalier. It's a, it's a mic that's on a person. When I go into the kitchen, I don't use this for sound, I use this. Somebody said to me the other day, so you use the lav when you're in the kitchen and the sound is great. Why do you use the big mic at the table? Are you hiding behind it? 
Why would really? they think hiding behind it? Yeah, they seem to think that the sound was the same coming out of both. I think the sound is definitely better on this big mic. Right. It's much more expensive. Oh, it's, it's much bigger. better. I mean, it's about size, right? Um, okay, so I've got the video. Okay, that pizza is about uh, two and a half minutes away. Okay, so shall we play the video? Yeah, and then you I'll tell, give you a little, the, okay, well, tell you what the mom said. She, she posted, the, the mom, uh, Elisa, posted this on my Facebook. Facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy. There you go. That's Here it. it is. What do you want to watch, Natty? I want to watch Ted the Cooking Guy. Sam the Cooking Guy? Yes. All right. We'll watch him. So, oh, she and she is so sweet. Mm -hmm. That little Natalie is so sweet. I'm going to try and forget the fact that she, she calls you called Ted. me Ted, <laughs> I think. Was it so, Ted or was it just the way Sam I came out of her little... I think she's just trying to get it yeah. out, right? Yeah. And the mom writes, thanks, Sam. We've been watching you before bed. She knows the day of the week, depending if there's a new show. Wow. She now goes by Natalie, the cooking girl. She's been helping a lot in the kitchen. Thanks for the show. The so age cute. range of your fans... So spread is out. Is it bizarre to me? Is it so bizarre to you out. too? It's crazy. Little kids have a have a serious affinity for you, <laughs> but so do very old people. So <laughs> I'll be in a store and a super hot mom will come up and she'll go like this. Yeah. Oh my god, your show! I go, yeah. She goes, you are my five year old's favorite. <laughs> I wanted to say you are my favorite, but I guess I'll take it. I'll take oh, it. Thank geez. you very much. That's very sweet of you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, gosh. All right, should we um, go pull this pizza out? Are we almost ready? Yeah, I think it's almost there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, if okay. you want to hop in the kitchen. I'm can. ready to cook. If you're ready to eat. Let's do it. All right, so here. Oh. Look how beautiful. Relatively thin. Ah, ah, ah. Wow, the Look smell. Look at that. <laughs> look how pretty. We made that. I made that. Here, look. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Hold that up. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, right? Nice work. Look at the leaks all pretty in that. It feels thin and crunchy, too. Get a big knife for it. Thin and crunchy. Your mom's thin and crunchy. <laughs> I love a leak. I love the potato. The smell is glorious. Oh. Oh, hot. <laughs> but crispy, thin, mmm. That little uh, alouette underneath, just a knife, enough to add a really nice little savory kick to it. Potato leek, oh my god. <laughs> make it thin, make it crispy. That means the next day, if you take it to work and you heat it up, it'll still be good. Mm. All right. I love lunch week. Uh, Friday, in honor of my mother-in-law, I'm making shrimp, <laughs> shrimp Louie, a shrimp Louie salad. I love my mother-in-law. I, I don't know. know what the hell that is, but I'm yeah, excited to see it. <laughs> Nobody knows. You're going to find out. Mm -hmm. She wanted it. I'm making it. That's what we do here. <laughs> well, I guess it's my mother-in-law. That's what I do. Thanks for hanging out with us. Go to iTunes, subscribe, leave positive comments. We love the fact that you're here with us. Thanks for watching the Sam Livecast. We'll be back with a new show Friday. Go eat something good. See ya. It's so hot. Mmm.